For the following exercises, consider the graph of f on the right-hand side. So the first question, it says, estimate the average rate of change from x equals 1 to x equals 4. So the first thing is, right, recall that the average rate of change is just the slope of a straight line that connects two points on a graph. All right. So what two points for this question are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the point on the graph where x is equal to 1. So go to the, let's go to the graph, all right? Let's locate where x is equal to 1. Well, here it is. And now let's go on up and find the point on that graph. It's all the way up here, and there it is. There is the point, okay? Now this point on the graph has a certain coordinate value, right? The point there has what coordinates? Well, the x-coordinate, that's easy. They told us it's 1. And then what's the y-coordinate? Well, if I didn't block it out here, right, by my arrow, you'd be able to see it. <laughs> so that coordinate value, that y value is 5, okay? So this is the first pair of coordinates that we need in order to calculate the slope, all right? So let's write that over here. This is 1, 5, and we'll call this one our x1 and this one our y1. All right, let me put it in just a different color. This is x1 and this is y1. Now what I need to do, that's great, is locate now the next point. And it tells me what x value to look at, right? It says look at x is equal to 4. So we've got to find the point on the graph where x is 4. So we go on out to where x is 4 and we go on up then. Find the point on the graph. So it looks like it's right here about halfway, all right? Now, what are the coordinates of this particular point? Well, that particular point is, it looks like it had an x value of 4, as we know. Comma, the y value is right in the middle, so it's probably about 3.5, okay, 3.5. So let's rewrite that over here. So my second uh, pair of coordinates is going to be 4, comma, 3.5. Now, why don't we label this x2 and y2, all right? Now... The whole idea here is the average rate of change. Now, focus on the graph. From this point to this point to that point is simply the slope of a straight line that connects the two points. And I can do a better job connecting those two points. That's going to be beautiful. There it is. Okay. This slope right here represents the average rate of change. Okay, because it's telling you every time you move out on X, how much Y is changing, right? It's going to give you the average change. So that being the case, I can now simply calculate my slope using two coordinates, right? Remember that slope is equal to the change in Y over change in X. I have it down here as Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So my Y2 value is 3.5. My Y1 value is 5. My x2 value is 4, and my x1 value is 1. So when I do the math here, I get negative 1.5 all over 3, right? Now we can reduce that down to 1 half. So this is negative 1 half. And that should make sense, okay? Notice the slope is negative. It's downward sloping, okay? It starts high, ends low. So that's a negative slope. And it's negative 1 half. Okay, uh, the reason is, is because every time y changes, x changes by, whoops, hold on one second. Every time y changes, x changes by twice that amount, right? You see that? So that's a negative half. So the answer makes sense. All right, now let's take a look at the next question. It's just as easy. Okay, estimate the average rate of change again from x equals 2 to 5. So let's see how fast we can do this. So we go out to 2. Go up to find the point on the graph. There's the point. Let's label the coordinates of that particular point right there. Right, it's 2, and then that's the x value, and then the y value looks like it's 3. Okay, so the first set of coordinates here is going to be 2, comma 3. The second set, right, of coordinates is going to be now where x is equal to 5. So we go all the way out to where x is equal to 5. We go all the way up to find that point. Oh, it's all the way up here at the top, and I realize that it has a y value of 7. So the next coordinate is going to be 5, 7. Let's label this x1, y1, x2, y2. You don't even need to draw the line necessary, uh, necessarily, but I'm, I'm going to draw it anyway. So all we now need to do is find the slope of this line 
that connects those two points. That will represent the average rate of change. So the slope will be equal to y2, which is 7, minus y1, which is 3, all over y x2, excuse me, which is 5, minus x1, which is 2. So this works out to be 4 over 3. And look, it's positive, right? And look, this is also positive, all right? The 4 thirds is a little harder to see, but what we should expect is that when we go up, because y is on top, so when we go up 4 units on y, 1, 2, 3, 4, I go over to the right 3 units for x, 1, 2, 3. <gasps> look, we arrived at that point. So it should all make sense. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.